Alrighty, what's up everybody, my peeps, how's it going you sexy bitches, it is I, your tribal god of extreme, Peter Joseph here, excuse me, for a Wednesday night, I guess I'll call it Wednesday night, because it's about, the sun's gone down, so it's not dark dark yet, but, it's Wednesday night, and you know what that means, time for another video right here on the official Peter Joseph YouTube wrestling channel youtube.com slash Peter Joseph thank you for watching make sure you like the video hit that subscribe button down there you know where it is in the description box below on this very channel and my other channels down there in the description box show your love and support leave a comment if you wish but if these stupid comments you'll get sent to the shadow realm where, where Satan will eat your soul and you'll burn for eternity and that's pretty much it, so don't do it, please. And, um, that's, that's, uh, pretty much all I gotta say f about that. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Show your love and support there as well. Share the video all over the internet. Most importantly, tap and slap that goddamn bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video, because if you miss anything, well, you know what's coming. You're SOL, and you know what that means. <laughs> and if you don't know what it means, please look it up. And, uh, that's all I gotta say about that. You missed it, you missed it. That's all I gotta say about that. So, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, if you wish, and share the video over the internet. Don't forget to tap that bell for more. And if, if this is your very first time watching, brand, if you're brand new, you come to my channel for the very first time, and you're actually real, not some fake bitch, or as we say in the business, butch. If you're not a butch, you're, but if you are, you're a butch. But, if you're brand new here, you come to my channel for the very first time, and you like what you see, you want more, please hit that bell for more to get notified, and hopefully YouTube, uh, you know, the, Neil and his, and his team of monkeys will send out my videos to you. If not, won't well, blame him. And that's it. And uh, if you want more, subscribe uh, to this channel and my other four channels. And that's, uh, actually, uh, my other, uh, my other channels. Yeah, I was right, four. I forget. I'm old, so it is what it is. It's Wednesday, you know. I, I got a headache. I'm, I'm in so much pain today. It's just crazy. You know, I went to, I did work at, at a, I did some work today. I went for a little light jog in the park. I had to come right back because my knee started, started killing me badly. So, I didn't, and I didn't have my knee brace on, so, <laughs> dumbass, you know, so, I had to come home and take a painkiller and then put my knee brace on, which is actually, the knee brace I have is, uh, it's like icy hot, you put it on, it, it it's, it's like an act, a thing in, in the knee brace that, uh, cools down your knee and everything, so it's like an ice pack in your knee, what a concept, got all those great people from Copper Fit, that's our sponsor. <laughs> no, it's not a sponsor sponsor, but we, as we all know, our official sponsor of my show is the Men's Warehouse. Because when you go to the Men's Warehouse, you want to look good when you go out with your lady or just going out. You want to get a good suit, some good clothes. That Maybe, just maybe for some of you fake people out there, get you laid. For me, don't have that problem. But you want to get something good, then you go to the Men's Warehouse, you say... Give me the Gilmore, give me the Peter Joseph special, and I'll hook you up. Well, some of you, they'll hook you, some of you up, but not all of you. Because if you're just fake, they won't give it to you. But it is what it is. But when you go there, especially when I go there, when I get my stuff, you know, and I like it, because I kind of like the way I look. Those people can guarantee it. For you, no. Some of you, no. Because you look like shit, whatever you wear. That's um, pretty much all I got to say about that. I look good, and you ladies love it. And that's, that's uh, pretty much all I got to say about that. All right, moving on. But that's our sponsor. That's always been our sponsor. Along with Nature Brand Water, or an iced tea. Nature Brand Iced Tea, the proud sponsor of life. So, go out and get yourself some Nature Brand Iced Tea. Whatever brand, doesn't matter. It's still Nature Brand. But, whatever. Moving on. Moving on! Moving along! That's that. Alright, 
ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday night, like I said, September the 18th, 2024. Got about a week and a half left of of the month. We're uh, pretty much closing out the summer. This Sunday will be the start of the great season of fall. So, we got three official days left of summer. Bye-bye, so long, farewell to that. So, fall beginning, uh, preseason hockey's already on the way with the Rangers, you know. Kick some ass, as always. Baseball, the New York Mets. Hopefully tonight, they'll sweep the Nationals. They're up by two. Two games ahead of JD's Braves. JD's having a heart attack already. Good. Good. Keep, keep eating your nails, too, you fucking prick. Um, but that's that. So hopefully the Mets win, win tonight. They sweep the Nationals. And then the Reds. Do us another solid, get, beat the Braves again. So pretty much the Braves will be three games back going into this weekend with 10 to play. Mets got four this weekend against Philly. E, that's not good. And they got that three-game series starting on Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. In Atlanta, the House of Horrors against a really still depleted but still good Braves team, which could... Make or break the season for the Mets, depending on how many games they're up by Tuesday. If they're up by like three, four games, I think it's pretty much not, it's not over yet, but the Mets could possibly, possibly, by next Tuesday or Wednesday, clinch that wild card, whether it be the second or the third wild card. But right now, the Mets have a hard schedule right now. Arizona, San Diego, and I think the Braves have easier schedules for the next 10 games. Not going to be good, but... Right now, Mets just wall up the Nationals last night, 10, 10 to 1. They brought up Luis Acuna Jr., you know, Ronald Acuna, his little brother. He had his first Major League home run, a big missile shot. Pete Alonso, another nuclear polar bomb, dick shot. Alvarez, El Kroll, bombs, bombs away. Great pitching. Manaya. Pitched a good game Monday. Quintana is still up and down. I don't trust them that much. But, you know, Peterson had a good game. We even know pitches tonight. But they're, starting, they're about to start right now. So we'll see what happens with that. Arizona lost to Colorado last night. Great. Uh, I don't know what the Padres did. They were up, but I think they're, uh, no, I think they lost to Houston. So the Mets are three games back on the first wild card. I think the first wild card gets um, home, well, they get home games, so. So hopefully the Mets will not go on the road. Depending who they play, whether it be Philly, Midi Walkade, which means the good end. Or those filthies. Which we pretty much own now, so. But I I would not want to face the Padres. Because, I mean, you got Darvish possibly coming back. They got another uh, Musgrove who owns the Mets. Darvish, the same thing. We know that last year. Not nice, but two years ago. So, I mean, it's going to be exciting for the next ten games, ladies and gentlemen. Week and a half left of baseball and then the playoffs. But the Yankees are definitely going in. Their magic number is one, so they win tonight. Basically, they clinch. Uh, they, could cl they clinch a playoff spot, but not the division yet. Baltimore will be in the playoffs. Houston will be there. Kansas City, I think. Minnesota. Oh, I don't want them to face the Yankees. Of Minnesota always sucks against the Yankees in the playoffs. But the way this, this, uh, this Yankee team is, I don't even think they're going that far. If at all they're going to they're not they're not going to the World Series. There's no no chance in hell they're going they're going with their horrible bullpen, even though it's getting a little bit better. With their with their horrible with their semi horrible pitching staff. I don't think they're going to go anywhere besides, besides them with uh, Cortez and uh, Garrett Cole. Pretty much the rest of the Yankees' uh, roster, is, I mean, the pitching staff is garbage. But, I mean, we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, but, yeah, they beat the Mariners last night, I think, 11-1. Meaningless games, basically, for the Yankees right now. I mean, just to try, just to, try to get home field... Which I probably get, because I think they're the best team in an American League, I think. I could be wrong on that, but... But I think in the National League, I think all... all uh, it's going to go have to go go through L.A. Which, the Mets are not great. 
in LA, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see. We got a lot. We got about a week and a half to go, but it's exciting baseball, Met fans. You gotta love it. You gotta love it for a team that I didn't even have penciled going into the playoffs, let alone get 84 wins right now. Or 83 wins right now. 83, 84. Who knew? They could possibly get 90 and still miss the playoffs, but I hope not. You know, after tonight, got 10 games. If they can win 8 of 10, they're in. Pretty much, I think they're in. But we'll see. We got that. All right, minus baseball, we got Dynamite tonight. Should be some good shit. Uh, we got D E D D D E D Baby. Well, not Baby, but uh, we got Oh Kada, the IHOP Denny's Continental Breakfast Champion, teaming up with the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, the Corporate Bucks. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. They t- they're going to be taking on pretty much the Don Cowes family of. Take a shit up to catch the uh, Kyle Fletcher and Will Oceanspray, the Intercontinental Champion. Reach for the sky! Whoa! Also, Fletcher and Oceanspray got a tag team title match next week at Grand Slam, which is gonna be freaking epic. The card is crazy good. I wish I was going to that fucking show. Pisses me off I'm not going because I want to see Nigel versus freaking Danielson live like I did. 15 years ago in New York City at the Grand Brougham at the Hammerstein. Not the Hammerstein, it's the Hammerstein. And it always will be the Hammerstein. If you say Hammerstein to me, I'm going to slap you. Because it's the house that Kevin Steen fucking built. Back in 2000 and pretty much 2010. Where he said 11, but that's just him. I'm not going to go against my boy Kevin Steen, but. We got that. All right. Blah, 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 blah. But we got that. Uh, Mariah May is going to be in a tag team match with um, Nick Serena. Oh, she. I know she's in a tag match. But I forget. I guess it's two. I think it's. I, I know it's uh, Yuka, Yuka Sakasaki or whatever her last name is. Yuna, basically from Final Fantasy X. Teaming up with Queen Amanada to take on. I think it's Mariah May and Serena Deeb in a tag team match. Okay. Cool that. Um. What else we getting? Um, I think we're going to hear from Danielson, I think. Um, but pretty much it's the go-home show before next week's Grand Slam event, which is going to be, like I said, epic. Epic! And we're two weeks away from the uh, fifth anniversary show. We're also three weeks away from the, not even a war, but it's the Tuesday night, Title Tuesday for both AEW and um, and NXT. NXT's going to wallop Dynamite that night. I mean, they're in Chicago. Well, not Chicago. They're in St. Louis. I mean, Orton's going to be there. Taking on Javon Evans. I mean, Orton. Orton could get like, five, like a million by himself with his quads. But that's another story for another time. But I know Dynamite's going to have like almost all the titles on the line. I don't know about the Ring of Honor titles. I mean... I mean, we'll see. It's going to be exciting, basically, basically uh, two hours of wrestling on CW11 and um, and, and, uh, and TBS. So, but we, we got that. So, we'll see what happens in three weeks from Tuesday. Well, actually, two weeks from Tuesday. Uh, yeah, three weeks. That was right. That was right the first time. But, we got that. All right, move on. Alright, so let me get this video up really quick, and then I'm going to try to get up uh, my NXT review as we go into Dynamite, coming up in about 45 minutes. Let me get this video done and out of the way. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, on this Wednesday night, September the 18th, 2024, right here on the Peter Joseph channel, I'm Peter Joseph, but you knew that already. I'm a content creator talking about the wonderful world of professional wrestling, or whatever the, whatever the fuck I want to talk about. And if you like it, great, you know, go fuck yourself and get out of here. And block me. That's all you gotta do. But some of you people, some people, just can't do that because they have no brain, and they just want to keep keep the obsession going because they can't get enough of my super cock. But they can't get enough, and their their uh, their mothers and their and their girlfriends, they still can't get enough. That's why they've been they've been riding me for fifteen years. I got so much to give. 
I got so much to give, and I keep coming back for more. You gotta love it. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk a little bit, a couple of things I want to, I want to talk about. So it's like a, another discussion video, if you will. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about a couple of topics in the realm of professional wrestling. So first topic I want to talk about is the AEW TV deal. It hasn't been announced yet, but some more logistics and some more information are coming out about the new AEW TV deal with Warner Brothers Discovery. So let's get into that. So the latest is that it's now $170 million, close to $200 million. It is a four-year deal, three years guaranteed. So I would assume to be 25, 26, 27. And then that option year in 2027, 28, which I think they'll pick up. So four, three years guaranteed uh, and the fourth year optional. It's fourth year option. Uh, like I said, 100, about $170 million. So AEW will emanate their TV shows on, on TBS, TNT, True TV, which some of you may not have. I do. I got it. But and uh, they may be going to max with their pay per views, but that's not definite yet. So we got that. And the news that came out, I think, it was yesterday that Rampage pff, might be gone. And I'm glad. Get rid of that garbage show. And in its place will probably be Shockwave. But. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, Shockwave is now being sh uh, being uh, sent out to uh, broadcast networks. Fox being one of them. And there was like um, different uh, pictures sh showing AEW Shockwave with the logo and everything. On a Fox HD. Or Fox based on like Channel 5 here in New York. Or possibly going to FS1. Which I wouldn't really like. I'd rather them go on a network. Like like a major network like Fox. Not Fox FS1 I'm saying. I'm saying Fox Fox like the SmackDown was. And I know they, there's a lot of people say, Oh, but hey, there's going to be a lot of cursing and this and that. I'm going to hear the bleeps again. Well, you're going to get that with NXT most likely as well. With those fans going, holy shit, you know. It's network TV, not cable. Cable, you can get away with some of it, but... Unless you're, on, unless you're on the USA Network, they believe everything. Bastards. But. I mean, I mean, there's so much censorship on the USA Network and censorship on cable TV and network TV. But here on YouTube, I am the uncensored, unscripted, best fucking rant on this planet, basically. And I don't need to prove it to anybody. Any one of you fucking marks out there. I can outrant you in my sleep, basically. The only people that could probably hold a candle to me is probably is uh, Joe Cron and maybe JD, but and maybe a few other select people, but everybody else, no, not even close, not even close. It's gonna have your boring opinion, make fun of me at the same time, and it's not even gonna be a fucking opinion. Not even gonna be a rant. It's gonna be eh, this garbage. Your opinion sucks, Peter! Well, why? Explain why. Don't give me that, Oh, your opinion sucks, you pedophile, you bitch! You know, this and that. I'm like, that's not a rant. That's not an opinion. You're not... I'm like, wh what am I watching here? I'm just watching a, a 30 to 45 minute boar fest. Just bashing me for 40 minutes. And then talking about the topic. I know, I go, I go on tangents once in a while, but at least I get back to the original, my original thought. But, like I said, nobody can outrant me. Not even on commentary. Or in real life either, so, it's like, what's the point? What do I have to prove? What do I really have to prove to some of you people? I don't have to prove a goddamn thing. And if you want to call me a pussy, well, thank you very much, because I get more than you. And I'm not, I don't, I don't need to brag about it, because it's facts. That's, uh, pretty much it. Oh, but you work from home, you don't make any money, you make minimum wage. No, I don't. I don't 
Roma to tell you, I don't make minimum wage. And if I did, I make ten times more than that. And I make ten times more than you do. And that's fucking facts. You can't prove it. Can't prove much of anything. Well, that's another story for another time. Anyway. Alright, so like the AEW deal, like I said, four-year deal, three years uh, guaranteed, one-year option. They're going to be on TBS, TNT, and True TV. Uh, and then, who knows what's going to happen with Shockwave, but I think the days of Rampage are pretty much going to be up pretty soon. I don't know when it's going to end. I hope soon. Because it's only been like, almost, I think it's been like uh, over 100, 150, maybe close to 200 episodes of Rampage. And, I mean, the early days of Rampage, there were good ones. You know, the good, when, when, Punk, when Punk, Punk was on the first couple episodes of uh, Rampage. Uh, Kenny Omega losing his belt to Christian. Well, the Impact belt. That was a good episode of Rampage. Very good episode. First couple of weeks got over a million views. Now it's like barely getting 300,000 views sometimes. Barely. But now it's like around three to 500. But still, it's a bad show. Really bad. It's like Ring of, Ring of Horror TV. You know, I gotta watch that shit tomorrow. God damn. And the Jet Game. The Jets are on TV, on Channel 5 tomorrow night playing the Patriots at home. So, that should be a good game. But we'll see what happens with that later. But, so we'll see what happens with Shockwave. I hope it goes to Fox Fox, not Fo FS1. So FS1's shit. And nobody really gets it and the ratings suck. So does Tony Khan want to keep Rampage at the rate, at, with the rating, at what they're getting in the ratings now on, on, TV, on, on TNT? At Friday night at 10 o'clock? I don't even know where, I think Shockwave might go head to head with Smackdown. It's still get obliterated, but at least it'd be, be way better than Rampage, I hope. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Ring of Honor would be on that. I don't know. I don't know what Shockwave is supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be matches, but it's going to be AEW and Ring of Honor matches, or is it just going to be what Rampage is based like right now? So we'll have to see what happens with that. And we'll move on. All right. The other big news I want to talk about is Kenny Bot. Gallo Mata, tell me Shivani, he's coming back. Kenny Bot Gallo Omega. Bang. Yes, Kenny Omega has been, is back training with Kota Ibushi. You know, his lover. Oh, sorry, golden lover. So, so he's on the men, you know, after battling diverticulitis, but Brock Lesnar had, and he came back from that. And, uh, but with Kenny, he almost died, but... Was uh, you know, diverticulitis is not fun. Brock had it. My mom even had it, and she survived that shit. But that's another story for another time. But anyway, let me read the story from Ringside News, the so-called Bible of all uh, sports, sports wrestling talk. You know, fake news half the time. Oh yeah, Britt Baker, Doctor Britt Baker, D M D baby, got really mad. At Ringside News for kind of, um, you know, they broke the story that Adam Cole, Bebe, and her broke up. And then Conan added something on this boring as fuck podcast saying that, Oh, I have people in the back that say uh, that Brit is hard to work with and this and that. And then basically saying that, oh, yeah, they're pretty much broken up. Well... I won't believe it until I hear it from Britt Baker and Adam Cole Bebe himself. So, I don't think they're broken up. I mean, I mean, Adam Cole went, uh, left Florida basically by himself to move back to Pittsburgh, which is Britt Baker's hometown. And plus his family lives in Pittsburgh. You know, B Fresh and, his, and, and Mama Chugs and everybody. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with Britt because she has a dental uh, facility in um, in Florida. I don't know if she's going to close up shop and move to Pittsburgh as well. I don't know. So, I don't know. I take that with a grain of salt that Adam Cole, Bebe, and Britt, who are engaged to be married. We don't know when the wedding would have been. I don't even know if they're still together. So, I mean, you can, ask, you can try to tweet him and say what's going on. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to tell people yet. Because, you know, he, Adam Cole's kind of like a private person sometimes, but... 
Especially something like this, I wouldn't even, like, say, you know, I wouldn't even say, like, if I broke up with Rosa, to, like, tom like t t tonight or tomorrow, I wouldn't come on, come on video and say, oh, you know, come back and song, I'm so sorry, my, you know, my girlfriend, it's uh, 15 years, uh, 16 years, really, but, no, I'm not gonna come on and, and blab on the internet, I, 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 I broke up with my wife, uh, broke up with my girlfriend of 16 years. I mean, come on now. Oh, like other people, I've seen do that on, 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 um, social media. I broke up with my girlfriend as a child of old. I'm, uh, I'm gonna kill myself, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, go on. What are you gonna do for my subscribers? I'm glad that, that bitch got rid of him. But that's another story for another time. Anyway. But yeah, I don't know what the whole story with Adam Cole, baby, and Britt Baker. If they're broken up or not. Like, they're not telling us. They haven't said anything. But, Britt, but pretty much Britt Baker is really, really, really mad at Ringside News. I and mean, I would be too. Because they they're they pretty much semi-fake news. And uh, the guy that runs Ringside News, I forgot his name. He's a real prick. When I buried him on on my rant channel, you can just go uh, go on my rant channel. There's a rant. Uh, I forgot his like I said, I forgot his name. But just go to my rant channel, find the uh, Ringside News rant. But I mean, it is what it is. Like people like Sean Ross Sap and I know Meltzer, a bunch of marks. Can't really take them seriously. Half the time they're right, half the time they're wrong, and half the time they're like they're a bunch of clickbaiting machines. But it is what it is, and that's that. All right, so we move on. All right, going back to Kenny by God Omega. Uh, you know we haven't seen him since the uh, the May first episode of Dynamite. Where pretty much he came out, he was talking about his diverticulitis, and, uh, you know, the elite, the Bucks, Jack Perry, Okada kind of attacked him, written him off the show, you know, they hit him right in where he had the surgery and everything, and, was like, and he was like, like, one wrong move and I'm dead. But, so, and he was starting a program with Jericho, going after the tag team belts. And it was kind of fizzling out, so we were thinking about talking. We were talking really talking about okay, uh, bleh, Omega and Jericho one more time, but that was short lived. We don't we don't know what, what's going on with Kenny if he's ever going to come back. But but as of today, the AEW, former AEW World Champion is steadily recovering slowly because diverticulitis takes a long time, especially this disease that he has. You know, it's going to take a while for him to uh, get back in ring shape. But anyway, there was pictures on Twitter today of him and his longtime partner and golden lover, Kota Ibushi. We haven't seen him in a while. So I think he got injured too. Uh, on Instagram and X and Twitter, uh, from his training facility, uh, both working out together... I seen the video that Kenny looks great. Like he never, like you would think he's not even hurt, not even sick or anything, but he looks great. Anyway, uh, Ibushi san hinted at something big, writing, World domination is just days away. Had a golden practice after a long time. We are still far from done. So, it's gonna be a long, uh, a long and tumultuous recovery for Kenny. And Ibushi, I hope Ibushi comes back pretty soon. And Kenny, I'm hoping he comes back by the end of the year. I mean, we still got about three three months and change to go, so there might be a chance he at least makes an appearance. That'd be great before the end of the year. As far as any ring competition again, I don't know. I'm thinking next year at at, at best. And then we talk about Adam Cole's recovery, which is still going on, but he was backstage at All Out. With hanging out with the box, most likely, and talking to Tony Khan, being with Britt, maybe I don't know, but we don't know. We still don't know when when um 
Adam Cole baby is going to even come back as as an appearance and in in ring competition. I'm thinking probably next year. I mean, he doesn't really talk much about it on his recovery. He talks about a little bit on his Twitch channel, but not much, not much. That's that. He's like, oh, my knees, my, my, my ankle's fine. You still, you know, don't have any setbacks. So I think it's just a matter of when he gets cleared. You know, so I'm assuming his, his ankle is, is getting much better. I don't know if he's training any uh, much anymore. He probably is, but who knows. But I'm thinking Adam Cole Bebe will be coming back probably by next year. We could see him at Revolution next year, but that's a stretch. But we got that. Uh, Omega has been making steady progress following his surgery. And the fans are waiting for his in-ring return. His full return. So we don't know when that is. Uh... He's looking. He-, he looks great. Like I said, he looks great. He's back to training with Ibushi. I hope he doesn't overdo it. Cause that'll be bad. So he's gonna make his return to AEW and hopefully go back after the Elite, who basically kicked him out. And hopefully we'll get one more, one final run uh, with Kenny Omega as some type of champion, whether it be the. I hop Denny's Continental Breakfast Championship, the TNT Championship, or maybe the World Heavyweight Championship once again. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. All right, so that's the uh, only the big news I wanted to talk about today. There's nothing really else to talk about besides the AEW TV deal. Um, Rikishi was telling uh, telling fans to pray to pray for Jimmy, who we don't know when he's coming back. Talk about Jimmy and Jay as well. But. We got that. Uh, Xavier Woods actually tweeted out a cryptic message. After what happened on Raw this past Monday. When he just went off on Kofi. That was great. Uh, the YS6 put out another cryptic picture. Of, with Joe Gacy. Some type of demonic thing. It was just weird. So go check out the YS6 uh, Twitter page, uh, that, uh, Janelle Grant, uh, we all know Janelle Grant from the Vince McMahon saga, she's taking on a new PR firm ahead of, uh, Mr. McMahon's Netflix docuseries they bought, uh, uh, which comes out next, next Wednesday, so we're gonna be talking about that next week, the documentary, she be some good shit, uh, we got that. Uh, lots of stars coming back to AEW. Penelope Ford, uh, Ty, Ty Conti, Ty Mello, Ty Guevara, basically. You know, Sammy Guevara's hot smoking wife. Um, they're coming back pretty soon. Uh, Dustin Rhodes doesn't know what's going to happen with his, with, his con- with his future because his contract's almost up. You know, he's been in wrestling for like over 30, almost 30 some odd years, I think. 40 years, maybe. So he might be coming, he might be coming to an end. Uh, Chelsea Green uh, slams misogynistic pose comparing her to Maxine Dupree. I don't know where you get that from. Um, actually, what's on right now is a Tony Khan special on FS1. So if you want to watch that, <laughs> go watch it. I'm not because I don't have I don't have FS1 on my the rich man's rich man's cable, but because uh, dish doesn't. S- Promote that channel. Why? I don't know. It is what it is. And um, that's that. Um, not, nothing much else. Uh, like I said, the Joe Gacy visual encrypted message with that. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Um, nothing really important. Uh, besides Big Show Man at Tony Khan for not booking him. Even though Tony Khan's paying him a lot of money. Uh, Jerry the King Lawler is still, uh, you know, battling his, you know, he came, coming off a stroke. You know, he has, uh, not speaking very well. Uh, but, uh, Harvey Wimpleman, remember him? Uh, which said he talked to Jerry for like an hour. He's doing better, he's doing good, he's in good spirits, but, you know. 
still still has like the remnants of the stroke he just had. He's I think what is he seventy almost eighty years old now? Care the King Lawler. So I hope he gets better because because uh, you know we don't need another death in the realm of wrestling, especially Care the King Lawler. I know him and back out Jim Ross. You know are up there in age. Among with a lot of other people. But. Hopefully we don't lose them anytime soon. But. That's that. Because you know. We're just coming off a couple of deaths actually. Tito Jackson. Passed away. Um, on Monday. I did a video about that. Thank you for the views on that. And. Uh, you know. Just can't have any more. Deaths in the world of professional wrestling. We lost Alpha. Senior. And then we lost Sika right after that. So the Wild Samoans are you know up there in heaven kicking some ass. But I mean we'll see what happens with that. Uh Brian Danielson. Yes! Uh still uh facing familiar neck issues. Pretty much from you know, those same neck issues that kind of almost retired him back when he was in WWE. Pretty much WrestleMania 30 on, basically. Uh, so it's been na he's been having nagging neck problems. He had neck fusion surgery, then he came back, and he's pretty much still going kamikaze like. And I wish he'd stop because he's gonna get paralyzed or die. You don't want to see that. Uh, there was a story about his wife Bree Garcia. Uh, she was a uh, reason why she when Brian won the belt, the undisputed belt at WrestleMania 30, and everyone's like, Where "Where's Bree?" She wasn't out there because WWE told her not to go out there. Dumb. Dumb. If I won the Undisputed title at WrestleMania 30, it's a big moment and everything. I beat Triple H. I beat Randy Orton and Batista, you know, everything like that in one night. And I'm like, I want my fucking wife and kids or wife out there, or wife and kids out there. I want them to, to enjoy the moment. I don't want my wife backstage like, <laughs> I'm like, where's my wife? Adrian! You know, Rocky. Rocky too. Adrian! Yo, Adrian! I did it! Yo, Paulo, I beat you twice. You didn't beat him, Rock! Yeah. Get up, Rock! You bitch! Yeah. Calm down, Mickey. Get up, you son of a bitch! Because Mickey loves you. It is what it is. People don't like me, like my impressions. I don't understand that. They say, oh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> no, I'm not, because people love it. I've gotten tweets, I've gotten comments about it, back, even from back in the day. They're like, oh, we need more. We need more impressions. So I might do a, a video, or like a throwaway random video. Just doing impressions. And I'll still get more hits than you. Well, we got that. So, if you don't like my impressions, don't watch my videos. Simple. Simple as that. You don't get views. You like, your vid you like the video 90 times. No, I don't. You like the video 9 times. No. Oh, you put up, the you put up a video late at night, and then when you get up in the morning, it has 8 views. Not me, because I don't... What am I? I'm liking my video in my sleep? Get out of here. Fuck you. Fuck off and die. For all I care. I don't care. I mean, you don't like me. I don't give two shits. But you can't do better with your clout views and your boring as fuck community posts and comments and shit that are just retarded. I don't care. I don't really care. It's the same bullshit I've, I've heard for 15 years. Same shit. Same shit, different day, basically. Ooh, wasabi. Yeah. Wasabi! It's like a running joke. I know it's a bad joke, but... But, what do you say to a Japanese guy when you go to, when you go to a restaurant? Wasabi! It's a bad, joke. bad joke. Bad, bad. I know, but... Not funny, but... Not funny! No. Not funny, Ed! Who's Ed? Ed, Ed, and Eddie? No. Dead Ed! <laughs> Moving on. But yeah, like I said, if you don't like my impressions, too bad. 
Too bad. You don't like my any good at all impression? It's too bad. Too bad, S.A. Fiddle. You know? You don't like my... My... My Chumiri series. Oh, yeah. Did it. You know, Hulk Hogan. Brother. 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 Steel Cage. Brother. You know, back up, Jim Ross. I mean, I do... I know them all. I'm not great, like, uh, Chasing Sensation, or there's another guy on Instagram. Perfect! He is better, way better than Jason Sensation. I think his name is Alex something, I forgot. But he is very good. I do it pretty well. No, not great, but still. But still. It is, it is what it is. You know, I do Jerome, you know, uh, New Jack, motherfucker. You know, even my good buddy, Mike Awesome. Mike, get in here, Mike. Mike, what? Get in here, asshole. Oh, here he is. Mike Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Former ECW Heavyweight Championship. God damn, should be in the Hall of Fame. Right, Mike? You should be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm awesome. Why don't they put me in the Hall of Fame? Don't ask me. I, I put you in first ballot, dude. Oh, I, thank you, thank you. You know, you hate that guy, what's his name, um, his name rhymes with Banaka? Don't say his name! I hate that guy! Uh. You say his name again, Joseph, I'm gonna kick your ass, I'm gonna put you to a flaming table! Uh, cause I'm awesome! No, you're not, Mike, stop it. Be easy. Oh, I'm sorry. Just go, I just go woke up when, I, when you say that guy's name! Uh. So, if you don't like my Mike Awesome impression... Fuck you, and Mike also will come down from heaven and kick your ass and put you through a freaking table. Ugh, this is awesome. Right, Mike? Yeah, I'm awesome. Okay. I'm more awesome than The Miz. Well, I know. Then The Miz might get in before you. That's sad, right, Mike? Yeah, no, I don't want to. If Miz gets in before me, I'm going to be pissed. Ugh. Right, calm down. Anyway. So I'm not talking to myself. I'm just doing epic impressions that you can't do better. Just saying. Just saying. That's uh, pretty much it. Alright, guys. I am out of here. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me your thoughts and opinions about the AEW uh, new TV deal. Possibly being announced pretty soon. It's just... We're on the cusp of if it being announced. It could be happening tonight. could happen at, at the 5th anniversary show. could happen on Title Tuesday. Who knows when this is going to be announced. Uh, but we got that. Uh, leave me your thoughts about Kenny Buck got Omega possibly making a comeback. Uh, and anything else I discussed in the video. And if you like it, great. You don't know, fuck off. And that's it. All right, guys. I am out of here. I'm going to get ready for, um, I was going to do my NXT review, but we're like 15 minutes away from, uh, Dynamite. So I might do, uh, I might do the video tomorrow, uh, late tomorrow, because I'm, I gotta, I gotta get, go to bed early tonight. So, uh, so later tonight I will do my Dynamite review. And then I'm going right to bed because I got to get up at 9 o'clock in the morning because the next two days I pretty much got off because I got doctor appointments. So a short week of work, but I still get paid. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I got to go I gotta go for a little procedure in the morning and then pretty much I got the rest of the day off uh, to do, do whatever. And then Friday I got, a, I got a regular doctor appointment and then I have to go to, I have to, go to physical therapy on my knee because my knee is sh pretty much shattered. It's always been like that. My knee, my right knee has been killing, pretty much been my arch nemesis since I was a little bitty hoaxed dude. You know, I, I, when I was playing, I was in hockey, I fell to the ice, and then I got up, I, as I was getting up, and the puck was right in the end, I was like, shit, this guy, this big, not big guy, but this, this, the, this, this guy just like crushed my knee, my knee and my, my body right into the boards, my, I felt a pop in my knee, I was like, fuck! And I was in a lot of pain. I had to basically get carried off the ice into an ambulance, go to the hospital. And next thing I knew, messed up knee. Messed up knee. X-rays were bad. I had to go for surgery. I was on crutches for about four to six months. It, it was bad. And I still have residual residual pain. And this was like when I was like in like almost in junior I was in junior high school. And then when I got to high school, I broke my collarbone. I was out for basically a, a day. Well, because remember that whole thing in 94 with the best of shit. My high school was uh, was delayed. First day of school was delayed until um, like two weeks after after we were supposed to be. 
So I missed the first day of school because I got hit by a car, and then I was I was in and out of uh, the hospital. I got a brace, and I had to get somebody to take my uh, walk me to my classes, and pretty much we had to take the elevator up up to certain certain parts of the of the of the school and everything. And then then I had to, I get I had to get picked up by my dad after school, and I had to lay on my back, which I hated. Because so, uh, the first night I came home, I accidentally rolled over, and I couldn't roll back over, and I'm screaming in pain. I was not smart that night. but And then, after I got the body cast off, I went hiking with my, my, uh, one of my, un- my, uh, in Jersey, with my uncle, one of my uncles, and... I'm going, I'm going, we're going, we hiked through his fine, going back... We're right near the entrance uh, to the parking lot, and I didn't see this, like, little bridge. And I tripped over this little log, and I held on to the, to the side of the bridge. And I thought I aggravated my shoulder, because I was, little, I was like, wincing in pain. But thankfully, I didn't, I didn't hurt, it, hurt it again. I didn't aggravate it. But, so, but, so I've, been, I've had that for, like, 40, 40 years now. Not, not 40, 30 years now. Still residual pain. I'm going back to um, after I'm getting done with my knee, and then I'm going to my shoulder, and then my back. My back. My my entire body's shit. You know, it is what it is. I'm getting older. You know, you know, get arth- You got that arthritis. You know, you got to deal with it. Your bones start breaking down. You know, even if I'm drinking a lot of milk and taking a lot of vitamins. You know, doing the Hulk Hogan method. You know. Train, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and believe in Almighty Hulk Hogan, brother. You know, I do that shit. I do some yoga, you know, DDP yoga. Eat your mama's yoga. Bang! I've been doing that. I'm getting back into that to get my back in shape again. So, so I'm trying to do everything I can to get back into some type of shape. But, you know, it's going to be a long process. And um, that's uh, pretty much it. But we'll see what happens with all that later. But got a long weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Long week. Tomorrow I got I got tomorrow and Friday I got I got doctor appointments. I got other things. I got physical therapy Friday, Saturday. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of yard work in, in the uh, in the afternoon, early afternoon, and then I gotta have lunch, and then I gotta get ready. I gotta go to I gotta go to the city for a huge fucking concert. I'm a part. Of, I'm gonna be a part of and filming. And doing audio work. And I'll be on the Metal, my Metal Guard channel Saturday night or, or Sunday. Uh, some great some great music from a Black, Black Sabbath tribute band. There's like so many, but it's, it's one of them that, that are in the New York area. And a Metallica tribute band. Can't wait for that, man. You've seen, you've seen the... the my, if you've been following my Metal Guard channel, you've seen some of those videos. They kick ass. I haven't seen the Sabbath uh, tribute show yet, but I will be there Saturday night in this, in New York City, kicking ass, singing my heart out. I might even be on stage. I don't know. We'll see, because I know one of the members of the Metallica tribute band, so. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Saturday night. So, probably late Saturday night, I'm going to try to get up some, some of the videos. Not all of them. I know I'm going to get copyright claims. I don't give a fuck. It does nothing. My channel it does really do, doesn't do, do anything. So, because copyright claims do sh- don't do shit. They can say, oh yeah, it kind of messes up your monetization chances of getting monetization. I don't care about monetization. Never wanted it. Never needed it. It's like that old saying by me and Rosa used to say: better to have it than not need it, than need it and not have it. That's a commercial. Oh, it is. Trust me, it is. Me and Rosa made it up. We're shipping it out. We're going to make millions if we get that commercial out. (coughs) But, we'll get that. Alright, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, if you're not down with that, well, I'm sorry, you're SOL and you know what that means. Because if you're not down with the prophecy, the purge, the greatest thing since sliced bread, you're not down in this moment, you're not even down with Black Label Society or anything metal, because if, if you don't like metal, it's crap. And that's pretty much it. Whatever you listen to is 
pretty much crap. Even if I listen to it, but... I mean, certain bands. If you listen to the same bands, I kind of like Linkin Park and Lizzie Hale and stuff like that. I mean, I'll just, you know... That's great, it's great, but if you listen to, like, Bieber or some shit like that, like, country music, then it's crap. It's pretty much crap. But other bands, I, I probably won't, won't even like. But it is what it is. But if you're not down with all that, pretty much everybody that's better than you and you know it, we got three words for you. Fuck you, man! And that's it. Until next time, my friends. Peace.